Here are your predictions for AEW's full gear. Claudio Castagnoli issued the challenge for the Blackpool Combat Club and Buddy Matthews will answer it for the House of Black. This will be a fast-paced hard-hitting match with Buddy Matthews coming out on top. The Ring of Honor World Championship is on the line when Eddie Kingston faces off with Jay Lethal. This will be a clash of styles as Eddie will force Lethal to fight a strong style, however Lethal will come out on top with the assistance of Jeff Jarrett and company, crowning Lethal as the new champion. The Zero Hour Buy-In Show will conclude with a title defense of the ROH Tag Team titles. With Adam Cole on the injured list, MJF had to choose Samoa Joe as an interim partner. But with opponents like the Gun Club, this becomes a fire and ice match to see if anyone can put over the Gun Club. MJF and Samoa Joe will retain the titles, but we will see if their natural heat will indeed ignite the crowd-chilling effect of the Gun Club. Kenny Omega and Chris Jericho compose the new faction known as the Golden Jets. They will be facing off against the Young Bucks. At stake, is the Bucks shot at the tag team title or the breakup of the Golden Jets? The Golden Jets win this one and further the story of the feud with the Don Callis family, and further cementing the Young Bucks as heels. Hangman Adam Page and Swerve Strickland face off in a Texas death match. This brutal, blood-filled match is meant to lift Swerve to the main event, and thus Swerve will come out on top. The retirement tour of the Icon Sting kicks off with a six-man tag with Adam Copeland and Darby Allen by his side. They will face Christian Cage, Luchasaurus, and Nick Wayne. This will be a fast-paced fun match with tons of high spots and unexpected risks by Sting, leading to a win by Sting and company. Ric Flair may also be ringside. A four-way tag match will decide who takes home the AEW Tag Team Championship currently held by Ricky Starks and Big Bill. LFI, FTR, and the House of Black make up the other combatants. This will be another strong style versus classic wrestling spot fest, highlighting the best each team has to offer, but ultimately Starks and Bill will retain. One of two ladies' matches for the night sees Chris Statlander defend her TBS championship against Julia Hart and Sky Blue. The two challengers are in no way ready to hold a championship, and they will ultimately take unnecessary risks in this under 10-minute matchup to prove they deserve a higher spot on the card and in the rankings. Statlander will retain in a strong show of dominance. Hikaru Shida defends her AEW Women's World Championship against Tony Storm in a quasi-comedy, strong-style matchup. Tony Storm has gotten herself over in such a way that winning the championship now would be a wasted opportunity. Hikaru Shida will retain. AEW International Champion Orange Cassidy faces his toughest opponent in John Moxley, who recently developed a resistance to Cassidy's finishing move, the Orange Punch. Moxley lost the title due to injury before he could defend it against a yet-to-be-announced opponent. Cassidy won the title from Ray Phoenix, who took the title from Moxley. This could be the chance to solidify Cassidy as the true champion, or write the course on a previous storyline. This is a tough call, but odds are that Moxley will win the title back. The main event sees MJF's second title defense of the evening against the leader of Bullet Club Gold Jay White for the AEW World Championship. Jay White stole the belt weeks ago, leading to this final confrontation. On paper this should be a five-star match, but may be disappointing in the end, as Jay White has yet to see his new Japan Bullet Club magic arise in AEW. MJF will retain, setting up a string of defenses in 2024 against the likes of Samoa Joe and Wardlow.